Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Although the word greetings implies something positive, something friendly, something upbeat even, and this is going to be a very different kind of video because we have not one but two forum posts to discuss the Season 5 lack of apparent bands in the top 200. Now, it is no secret that every season of Battlegrounds, and I can't believe we're already done with Season 5, every season has cheaters. Every season has modders. Every season has just obvious players manipulating the system. Uh, I get asked if... Well, they should report them basically every season. I don't know why people message me asking that. I always say, sure, yeah, take screenshots, contact Kabam. That's what they say to do. But does it actually work? Do they actually care? They want us to believe the answer is yes, but sometimes the proof is in the pudding, and the pudding seems completely full at this point. So let's look at this post by Zach the Sword. I am opening a discussion on this. We waited for three days, and zero people got banned in the top 200. Are you telling me that the number three Conqueror guy was legit? Please explain why there are no bans. And yes, took screenshots. Which Kabam doesn't like people to do generally, but I don't know how else we're supposed to do it. I don't know what a better system would be to hold them accountable. And you'll see Michael AK-17, place number three, is the one in question. What the actual heck? Spreadsheet credits to Pepe. This is a spreadsheet of the rankings at the end of Season 5. If anyone would like to compare to check this placement and ranking, feel free to share your scores. My rank is exactly the same in spreadsheet and in game mail. Sir Games Bond, that's a great name, says Vidra, no changes to my ranking at all either. There were obvious modders in the leaderboards. How is it that the game team has a designed or designated, excuse me, modder bounty crew and still flops this hard? Where I ranked, it's top 800, and you're telling me there's no bans at all? Can't wait to hear from those who ranked lower and tell us if their ranks had changed. Sid D. Dragon says, finished the season at Arcane 3, ranked 294, got the rewards for rank 2,794. Yikes. This is a historic day for the game, as the team didn't find a single modder in the top 2,793 players. What amazingly truthful and rule-abiding set of players we had. Uh, I'm sensing some sarcasm, Sid D. Dragon. Night Monkey says, I actually can't believe it. They promised to be more precise on banning modders, and I can count five clear modders in the top ten. Four actually modders and one very, very, very smart guy who abused matchmaking and modding accounts. And yet they didn't do anything. At least 30 clear modders in the top 100. I can't believe it. First off, Night Monkey, I feel like you should be working for Kabam. You clearly can identify modders better than them. Season 4 was actually a blast to play. Felt amazing. Can't say I agree with that. Season 5 has been dreadful. The worst. Five raw. Wow, that's actually awful. I finished 510 and no one above me was banned. I reported a few and even opened a ticket as one guy that finished in Celestial was obviously modding. He threw 13 specials with full recoil and finished at 96% health with Torch in the Rage meta. Yeah, that math doesn't add up. Threw multiple specials with Domino as well with 97% health along with Polka.Power. Modders are the obvious winners. Way to go, Kabam. Hot dang. Bell 1R, congrats, Kabam. You finally and officially proved to support and tolerate modders. As outlined in every single ticket submitted, this is really historic. Uh, Zach comes back, I agree. It's probably the worst season for me. Questionable meta node and less moderation. Hope Kabam responds soon. This has to be an error, right? Maybe an internal miscommunication led to rewards being sent before modders got called because the idea of Kabam being like, nah, no cheaters here is just too nuts. I don't think any season we have seen bands move people at the leaderboard. So, Kabam's response is going to be, we have banned people throughout the season that you don't see. But the player's response is, well, just looking at the leaderboard that ended and doing our own research, the people you banned are not applicable to that list. And I know this because, well, we have another thread to talk about. 
Uh, Kappa 2G says we really have taken steps backward this season. Have we? Issues in the game mode during season, lagging on responsive drafts, matches ending with full health defenders and you knocked out. Then we have the usual delay in rewards where nothing was done to clear the leaderboards at all. But hey, keep paying for your elders' marks and maybe they'll add another five emotes. Another sarcasm. But let's see how long this thread also stays up. Command Mike says I don't usually do this, but if you have players that you think are obvious modders in the top spots, please, I guess it should say sin. Please DM their names to me and I will take a look. No movement in the top ranks at the end of the season means that our checks and balances throughout the season are working well or, once again, cheaters have improved the ways in which they are cheating and that certainly is what these players are saying. We need to find out how and adapt our methods to find them. Also, not sure where this rumor of a modern bounty crew came from. We have an engineer whose job is to improve our anti-cheating detection and others that manually check, but they have to know what they're looking for as modders improve their cheating methods. We have to evolve our methods of detection. And what we're looking for, one of my favorite DC movies of all time is Batman Begins. And at the end of it, they talk about how what happens when you go to semi-automatics and they go to automatics. It's kind of what the modders seem to do. So we're going to look at the second forum post about this because it's titled, Ain't No Way They Closed the Top 200 Discussion Well, They Did. Um, Oh my nuts says we are keeping this alive. And that was the idea. Uh, Zach the Sword came back said, I'm honestly shocked they closed it. Truly appalling. Mike, are you telling us nobody was modding in your top 5,000? Your anti-cheat banned zero people and thus it's working as intended. Please show some transparency and send us a number of the people banned post-season in. Uh, Kabam Jax responds, that's not what... Mike has said, we banned over a thousand players throughout the season and a more thorough sweep of the leaderboards after the season ended resulted in more bans, though players would argue with that fact. Not only that, Mike went as far as to offer to open his DMs for direct communication so he could investigate things on his own. The account you're questioning is well into Act 8 story content. It's also against the forum terms of service to post cheating accusations and this is why. And, of course, that discussion has been closed. You know, this doesn't affect me because I only do three fights every two days for trophy tokens and for Battlegrounds objective points. But if you're somebody who had to go up against obvious modders and you reported them and you kept track of their names and you saw they still got rewards, this is not only infuriating, it's demoralizing. So... I appreciate these two forum posts. I think they're well-intentioned. I know Kabam is pushing back. This is a mess. Um, zero people were banned, according to this list, since the season ended. That is nuts.